Hey everybody! Hi. Imaginative here. We are the Vasquez family. Yes. Welcome back to another Imaginative video. In today's video, we are going to be reacting Dance finally <laughs> to KGF Chapter Two. Ooh, dun, dun, finally, dun. Uh, the Canada version. Uh, from what we understand, that's the original version. So we are excited to be here. Finally, it's been a long time since we saw the first one. We know you guys have been extremely patient and very passionate about us watching this. And uh, we had our thoughts about the first one. We we thought it was quite the quite the experience. Yeah. Um, there were yeah. a lot of things Lots that we a lot of things that we liked about it. A lot of things that we didn't like about it. Um, but it was nonetheless a great experience. And I think the best part about it was that we got to share our our thoughts and the and the whole thing with you guys. And that's what we're really yep. mostly excited to do today is to kind of experience the second chapter of KGF with all of you. And truthfully, there were a lot of things that we wanted to get answered. Um, it kind of ended on a cliffhanger. Yep. Yeah. A really great cliffhanger with. Um, Rocky now becoming, you know, the head of, of this. I mean, he just saved the people from the, from the mines. So now we're going to probably see him, these other big, powerful people come to try to attack him. Who's the better half? Is right. Who's, that second who's going to be the, the big leader, essentially. The big so, boss. Big boss. Yeah. yeah. Who's going to be the boss? Because right now he is, um, or at least that's how it is. So he seems quite untouchable right now. Yes. Quite untouchable. So. And he probably will continue to be. So. It'll be quite the thing, and we're, we're just excited to see. I mean, just yeah. from the trailer, it definitely is exciting. So we're happy to be here with you guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. Again, thank you for your patience and your support. In the meantime, uh, let's do this thing. There's no way. Oh. Aww. Aww. Pass away. That was yeah. such a beautiful tribute. <laughs> <laughs> to be very honest, he's got very little time. Let's hope for the best. Isn't that the reporter from the first one that we saw telling the story and all that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm. Hey, that was the guy telling the story in the first in the first one. Mm -hmm. So he needs to continue the story. Well, that's cool. I mean, that's sad that he died, but. Oh. <laughs> He's. Wow, that's a cool like. Wow. Mm, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Story within the story. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's been a long time, right? Mm -hmm. They're trying to just find the history again. This is really cool. Wow. Interesting, yeah. It's like our narrator author is gone. Yeah, the narrator so the first one. It together. So it's a new one, right. Which makes it more mysterious and interesting. There must be another copy of the book somewhere. Not that I care. Not that I care. Not that I care. <laughs> hey guys, look, the Glucky Gamer. <laughs> yeah. He's like, right. You He's know, like, right. Yeah. Imagine that's Rocky, like, or a statue of Rocky. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Whoa. Oh, he's the biggest kept what? secret in the history of India. That is a lot of people. That is. Yeah, they're protecting something, clearly. El Dorado. Dorado. <laughs> I'm also curious, like, how long ago all of it happened. I mean, clearly, those people are still defending. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a better beginning than the last movie. I oh, mean, yeah. of course, sure. because it's the second part, but there's a little bit more of a hook to it than just yeah, going right into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, Garuda is the guy that he decapitated, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Can't forget that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's oh, the, the music, team, there's yeah. the music. The music, uh, the hair. Jana, Rakina, Sultan, and Agis Vickers. Rockin' Star, Yash. <laughs> oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> when your persona exudes beyond the film. Yeah. Oh man. That's right. <laughs> well, hello. He Good takes a see. circle yeah. around <laughs> Finished him off. <laughs> Don't worry, you are in safe hands. 
ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ಬ ರಾಕಿ ನುಟ್ಸಕ್ ಆಗಲ್ವಾ ನಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಗ ಇನ್ಯಾವ ಕೈಲು ಆಗಲ್ಲ <laughs> Now it's like they're regretting creating a monster. I don't know man, Rocky. Rocky plays a dangerous game. <laughs> you're like, what did we just they're do? Like, Oops. <laughs> Even the way he treats that girl though, it's not right. Yeah. Mm -mm. I've never liked the way he treats that girl. Mm -hmm. Rocky needs to learn some manners. <laughs> ನೀವ್ ಆದಷ್ಟು ಬೇಗ ರೆಡಿ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡಿ ಅವ್ರು ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನ ಈ ಬಟ್ಟೆ ನೋಡಕ್ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತಾರಂತೆ ಬೇರೆ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಬೇಕಿತ್ತಕ್ಕ ಬೇಜಾರ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ಯಾಳೆಗಳ ಶಾಶ್ವತ ಅಲ್ಲ ಕಿರೀಟಗಳಷ್ಟೇ ಶಾಶ್ವತ ಈ ನನ್ ಮುಂದಿನ ಜಯಂತ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಬೆಂಕಿ ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ They're awful. Yeah. Huh. Give them some motivation. He could kill Rocky right there. Huh. But he won't. Banduka idea of Rinda trigger radio over go. Aunne nor one. I love this. I love that, yeah. That adds some like reality to all of it. You see, Surya Vardana Jaga Katlaga is Samaraja Saura Rocha Uli Beko no Dura Rocha Nenda Nikke the end two miles ago. That's Rocky. Yerede was the last two chinan tiki beko no trida nirda. Dang, dude. So they're trying to keep it to themselves essentially? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that no one else can take it? Mm-hmm. Alam it can beg it. Time to progress. That's the old man from the first one. Mm. And he saved in the mines. Not look at him. He's walking around with a telescope mm -hmm. acting like one of the people. <laughs> It's cool he goes down there to work with him. I was going to yeah. say that's that's what's different that's about him, cool. yeah. Mhm. Rocky 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 Antonio. Hogra kare. Nagotila. Ma. Those kids are so cute. <laughs> oh, remember that? Oh, that was Man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See that the kids are reenacting yeah. the story. Yeah, they were acting out what happened. That's so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. wow, man. I love this. Yes. <laughs> A 
She's learning all about him and what he's done. Mm -hmm. Look at the kids, nonetheless. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> She's terrified for him. Who wouldn't be, man? Mm -hmm. I think as Rocky comes in and disrupts their whole like plan and system and operation yeah. of oppression and all that. Guy. Oh, the brother with the lion's ring. We've been Never. teasing him since the first one. What? Interesting. Because it landed there. He's he probably like, never died. You know what's so funny? You know how the son was like, I don't want anything to do with my dad, with my with his story, and now he's <laughs> narrating, yeah, yeah. he's narrating the whole thing. Yeah. Not that he cares. Not that he cares. Yeah. He's just you know. Oh. Oh, no. oh. I knew he was gonna die. I don't know. Oh man, I would have been running. Right, I would have, I would have been running a long time ago. Man, if this kid dies. That already said he's going to. Probably. BBC Rakta Harsi Yuta Marado. Marshal Marakala. Yeah, but him. Oh my goodness. I would kick him while he's having a monologue. Right. <laughs> You know what's a word that I heard him say that Rocky used to is the word like progress. Mm -hmm. But their their methods of progress are very different. Very clearly. Different. Whoa. Yeah, that red looks so cool. Yeah, it does. yeah it's a cool contrast. Wow. Oh, wow. Classic. It's a cool it's looking car. car. Oh no! Oh, this is gonna be so. This is gonna be epic. <laughs> this editor had so much fun with this yeah. part. <laughs> <laughs> that was too. Yeah. Oh, oh no. no! He ran. I don't think he ever died. He ran away, right? Yeah. He was one of the cowards. I think. Oh. oh. Bro, what? <laughs> I love how he's not even using a gun. No, he's not. He's, he's just, just using, using the Mustang, car. man. His shots are ridiculous, yeah, seriously, man. man. so cool. The slow-mo. They film that man because they're recording it in slow mo, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this guy's gonna come back and, like, freaking thinks he's living in the Viking ages still. <laughs> How? How does he do that? <laughs> <laughs> ah, <laughs> that is so it's cool. pure, it's insane because he's about to fight a Viking and he's fighting like a Viking. This, this is literally, that's the worst guy you'd want to come back. Like, no, of all the people. Potentially worse than Garuda. Like, well, yeah, because he just shot him in the heart. You want me prana to yell? Uh, 
This guy is evil, man. Nanna Kati. Nanna Kaji of Parioke. <laughs> that was a good chat. That was funny. He didn't say a thing. He just opened the door. <laughs> Honestly, though, it's kind of a humble reminder for him, though, that he is still very much mm -hmm. human. Yeah. Because he was kind of starting to act a bit godlike. Mm -hmm. He's still very immortal. <laughs> Remember how she wasn't convinced in the first yeah. movie? <laughs> now she's like invested in I mean, he did just save her life. Yeah. He's probably fighting death. <sighs> probably fevers. Mm -hmm. High fevers make you hallucinate. His mom has always been his. Yep. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Dude, this movie is so much better. Yeah, this movie's like <laughs> so much better, man. Like we're already forty-eight. Like we're, we're almost to that forty-eight minute mark, and we're we're still very good. So this is mm -hmm. excellent, actually. <laughs> He said it's the one who loves listening. <laughs> oh my gosh, what? In Dubai. <laughs> Dude, that's the favor he asked. Business Kodak Bundidini. Karobar. Konsa Karobar. Ish Kashta Bada Chie. Lekin Wak Nikalia. All those guys that guy just listed. Kamiska. Kalash Nikol. Kalash. So suspenseful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're like blinking. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. Because the editing is being like, utilized better, like yeah. the fast. It's not out of control. Mm -hmm. It's very intentional. Yeah. Oh, he killed all of the people he just listened. What? It's because he grew alliances, but not with the rich people. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Shy in the Mundo Sokagala. They cannot continue with it. <laughs> <laughs> my gosh, man. It will only be with me. Oh this guy tells the story so well. Yeah, His voice, yeah. he has like the perfect. <laughs> he was being humble when he said he didn't want to tell the story. Dushmani Yavan Tarkalala. Business Marna. Offer closes soon. Yeah, man, this is a live action anime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seriously, man. Oh. That's the intermission right there. Yes, sir. Oh! El Dorado is. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get it, though? Mine? Yeah. Like the mines? Mine. It's a good, uh. <laughs> Good pun. Really good pun. Mine. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, so intermission. What are Fantastic. Our... I'm already loving this a lot more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, they definitely, I feel like, I feel like in the first one, they were trying to give us a lot of information. So there was like, so this happened, this happened, this happened. It was like kind of a lot overwhelming <laughs> in the beginning. But with this, I think because they kind of set the whole ground and setting now, hmm. they kind of just have more, they give us more freedom to understand it better yeah. and take it in easier mm -hmm. like it definitely didn't seem as fast paced and like when they were having flashbacks to the first movie it was kind of like this they did this shifty thing yeah but kind of like almost like you're 
remembering something so yeah. that actually worked really cool yep um so i'm definitely liking the second one better than the first <laughs> yeah. yeah i will say the only part that was kind of you know odd is how quickly he was shot mm -hmm. like he's been so undefeated like so what is it the word untouchable untouchable for so long and yeah. he's always so aware of his surroundings and mm. And it just seemed to me like this guy just shot him. I don't know. I, it just it shows like his power. I think it's kind of like yeah, and that, but I also I mean I think you bring up a good point, mom. I think that's part of maybe the whole surprise to it is how could just a gunshot stop this yeah seemingly unstoppable man, and then you have you know a hero who is up on the high ground. So, and they 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 drove him out, and clearly it was. It took a, it took a woman he cared about to to, to drive him out of the yeah. the palace. So I mean, you're right. It's definitely a yeah. I thought story. it would be a little more like trickier to to shoot him versus just he steps on this you know aluminum thing and he gets shot. Like it just it's out of character for him, I mm. think. But I do understand in the story why they would need to maybe cut him down to humble him a little. Not even humble him, but maybe him to gain more power and more strength to then fight this evil um yeah i mean I, I know why they did it in this story it just seemed very it just was kind easy of... <laughs> yeah i don't know well yeah. I, I think it also I, I i personally liked it because up until that moment when um adhira shows up there it seemed like rocky was untouchable like no right, one yeah. was gonna ever stop him <laughs> so i did i did like the the rise of a of a worthy adversary if you will because yeah. now I, adhira shows up as this viking wannabe who is <laughs> an absolute cruel person yeah he's evil. um and I, I wonder though if if uh i don't know her name the girl he likes um i don't know her name but she seems to be his dare i say achilles tendon where he would do something so careless to leave to be drawn out of kgf and to be lured mm -hmm. into this senseless fight for this woman that is not fully all about him so it's it's a very interesting um character trait on his part yeah but if you look at his relationship with with other moms with and that and this one specific woman i think in this hard shell of a rocky man i think that little boy inside does have this this rather tender heart that is going to try to honor what that what that one mom asked for mm -hmm. yeah. yeah but i do think that's what lured him out and made him vulnerable to get shot is this this inner softness that he has that to all of his enemies he will not show he will absolutely not show um and i think the closest one that got to experience that is is again i don't know her name when she holds his hand and he's in the middle of fighting a fever or whatever it is uh, from the wound yeah so it it this is definitely a much much more enjoyable journey yeah definitely far. i like um, this one more i completely understand what we're what we're doing here i mean it's uh, yeah not it's still dark and horrible in terms yeah. of the violence i mean it's just this is a straight up <laughs> mafia epic movie i mean it's there's the morality they're saving line the is, violence though they're yeah saving it's definitely not as it definitely is not as as bad as it's <laughs> it's, it's more intentional yeah. compared to the first the first chapter, but it's still violence. It's There's still sprinkling in the violence, whereas the other one was just blatant violence. No, that part in the first KGF where they were making the gun, right? That was really cool. Mm -hmm. And you see a lot more of those moments where it's like the editing is very, very cool. I know that that one scene with the car where they were just going black. <laughs> that was a little annoying. I was like, okay, uh, is okay. there something wrong with the movie? But. <laughs> I mean, I mean, hey. I mean, oh, they were, but they were hyping up the chase, is what that was. So right, I, but I get they, it. I they can do that, but to a certain point. Yeah, because some of them felt like trailer moments. Yeah, <laughs> right. Because then right. I started to think, you know, like, hey, well, maybe, maybe because the trailer did so well, they had to edit the movie like the trailer so that they could, you know. You know what this it. feels like? This feels very much like a contemporary fantasy, if I were to call it anything. Uh, and and there's there was a, a film made here years ago that takes place in New Orleans, that, that was that. It was kind of a contemporary fantasy where it's it's industrial, it's gritty, it's, you know, right now the, we're the El Dorado, the KGF mines, is is basically the famed El Dorado where all this gold lies, right? 
So there's there's a fantasy element there that well maybe it's not in Central America it's in India and that's where the the grounds for this great big war is going on that not many people know about because it's such a massive bloodshed and surrounded by conspiracy so it's a very interesting uh, fiction because it it adds now I'm sensing that this is a little bit more like a fantasy again. So this is not especially I feel, with the narrator and the sense of like not knowing the full yeah, story, right? That's true. Yeah. So it's it's, it's kind of like so if we're watching Lord of the Rings, right, and we're learning that Aragorn is one of the Dúnedain who ages ever so slowly, and he's an amazing warrior, and you you have hobbits and elves, and it seems so like if you tell somebody that's not into fantasy about watching Lord of the Rings, they're gonna kind of go, Ugh, okay, <laughs> whatever. So I think our reaction first to to this is kind of like, wait, is this mafia movie? What is this about? I just feel like there's a there's a lot more going on here than I had expected. Well, when you so. have a when you have a character that's like a power leader that takes on the ways of a Viking, yeah, like that is something out of anime where you have a character that is like so different or like so unexpectedly like just random, like just taking on the ways of a Viking and like how badass that looks, but also how terrifying it is yeah. as well. But yeah. it's like it's like a really cool character to to make and. It's just yeah, it's it's, it's a lot okay. of yeah, it's 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 you're bringing in a lot of broken, mm -hmm. really messed up characters, people that don't have a morality. There's no morality check no. to some of the things they do. I mean, again, I think we're seeing Rocky kind of find how to how to like what his morality is, like what his his code is to to help the people and to what life is worth taking but even i mean killing is wrong regardless but so you see like this movie is that it's a, it's a mafia movie it's a it's a yeah. like you said a modern epic and there's times where it feels like a, a video game or a video yeah, game right. play like a, a modern assassin's creed or something because you're right there's some <laughs> yeah, there's some characters that are just that are just so only can exist in something like this because it's yeah. just that epic um mm -hmm. so i'm just very curious to see where this goes clearly rocky's mom is is a continual sense of kind of giving him strength um, and so kind of, of strength. Yeah, so it's very interesting because there's a lot of commentary on, you know, oppression, nepotism, the rich mm -hmm. and the poor, and right. and the way that sometimes the, you know, the poor and the the poverty, how that makes them see, you know, the people that that save them, and and how sometimes that that sometimes can warp the view as to who these people really are, you know, mm -hmm. and what they do in the shadows, and so there's just a lot of interesting commentary on that that front, and I'm curious to see how this movie ends. And where it continues, because that's kind of where we're at halfway. Um, you know, these these people are seeing Rocky now as as their god, and and even with KGF and the mines, clearly these people that have been running this thing for generations now have been aware as to how much gold is there, and they've been purposefully not grabbing all of it because yeah. they don't want anyone else to have it. But then. Um, so it's interesting. Is El Dorado just one thing, or is it now talking just is KGF just a symbolism for El Dorado is it just the gold the wow. jackpot so uh, there's a lot of interesting things being talked about here a lot of parallels to other stories that we know um, it's, it's very very fascinating um, but I think it's it's easier for us to kind of see those things um, because of maybe the way it is this movie is technically now with editing and it's easier to kind of breathe it in now you know obviously there's some movies where you just you don't want to dissect so much and try to get so much out of it i don't think we should do that with this movie either because it is what it is you know it's, it's but like, if you take it as what it is i'll be honest like i don't want to see just another repetition of the first movie where now we're going to just spend another hour and 34 minutes watching him gain kgf back and defeating the viking guy and at the end it's just this big celebration because he defeated viking guy like that's gonna be so boring, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I, it can, this movie has the potential right now to have layers that it it didn't have in the first first go. Yeah. But we'll see. I don't want to. I can't help but have that expectation because there's still so much time left. Like, don't give me the same stuff you gave me in the first movie. Right. I want to see something different, something new, um, which I I feel like I've experienced in the first hour and fourteen minutes. For sure. Mm -hmm. So I I hope it continues to build on that. But if it's just kind of now we're just going to fight for KGF. Okay. Right. I feel, I feel like, sorry, Matthew, but I think his intentions too, like I know I talked about him getting shot, but I, I'm curious to see at the end if we're going to find out that there was an intention to him allowing himself to fall. Gotcha. You know, sometimes you draw out 
other evils when you right. feel like when you show that you're weak. Mm -hmm. And you also should bring out your strongest allies when you are quote unquote weak. Um, <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like a lot of these people who loved him and, and followed him and like the mom, the mom's crying, like getting mad at him for, you know, you killed my son. But if you think about the reality of, well, what would your son have been doing if he was a prisoner in the mines being tortured and, Right. You know, like, what well, what is truly what you want? Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes people don't really... I mean, I understand her hurt, but... That's what I'm saying. It's I a very broken, that, it's love a very that broken angle. world. That's yeah. a very, very powerful perspective you're bringing up, Jenny. So I'm, I'm curious to see how they wrap it all mm -hmm. together. What the true meaning and everything, the storyline... Right. Jesus. There's a lot of layers potentially there. So I, I am excited to see how this goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's such a broken world that these characters are in. Um, and... And KGF in itself is, is, is pretty much a hellhole. I mean, mm -hmm. even with this, this new prime minister entering into the picture, the potential that KGF is going to continue to just be that, a, a legend. Like, I think about all those people that died, you know, that, that just take, are yeah. getting killed and no one will ever know about it. So that's the one interesting thing. I'm curious to see, like you're saying, how they're going to tie the rest of the story into the, the characters in present day that are finding out more about it yeah. um and i have to i have to touch on that like how the son of this guy just happens to be like the perfect narrator he yeah. he is made he is made for that right uh, the way he yeah. speaks and all that so anyway that man we are ready to jump in to this last half of this so uh let's do this thing let's, let's go see, let's see what happens <laughs> 